Hello everyone, welcome to part two on this tutorial on how to recreate features found on Samsung's The Frame product range and the ambient mode and turn your Sony Android TV into an art gallery slash photo frame. In the last video I showed you how you can pin photo to the home screen and launch photo with ease by remapping one of the buttons on your remote control. So to uh, find out how to do that go back to the previous video which I'll link down below and uh, check that out. So what I've gone ahead and done off camera is I've also gone ahead and subscribed to Photo Premium which only cost £2 which unlocked a few additional features as well and in this tutorial I'm going to show you uh, how you can use a USB for example to download some files off of the internet put them onto the USB and loop those or connect your Google Photos account and also do it that way. And we're going to also show you some of the advanced features you can use. So again, I've gone ahead and downloaded some files. I've put them onto a USB. I'm going to go into my gallery here and select the album that I've just made. So that's a simple matter of you selecting this one. Last time I was using the two sample videos that were provided on the TV. So that's all set up, ready to go. And now what you'll notice is that um, it will pan your shots depending on their aspect ratio, their file size and that kind of thing. So what you can do to customize this I think is really quite cool. You can go and into the go into the settings and ad adjust things like the display time which is pretty straightforward 10 or 15 seconds and more. You've got display effects such as to scale and fit to center, which is my personal favorite. Uh, let me show you what I like. So I scale to fit center and add this bokeh background. And what that does, very simply, will uh, make sure that the photo fits into your frame, adds a nice blurry background in the void space, and it just looks quite nice overall. I think it's quite aesthetically pleasing. Now I've downloaded a bunch of Japanese artworks, which I, because I'm quite fond of Japan, so uh, I, you can obviously find what you like. You can add your own family photos, you can do whatever you want really. Now, uh, similarly, you could link your Google Photos account. So what you do is you just uh, link your account, um, which I've gone ahead and done off camera. It's pretty straightforward though, you just follow the instructions. Um, this is my online account now. Uh, again, what I've gone ahead and done is I've just created a gallery folder and put my photos into there. You can select that and just hit done and off you go. And that's ready to loop. Additional features you can do are to alter the transitional effects from maybe just a basic fade, which it does on default, to something like maybe illusion. Maybe this pleases you, uh, <laughs> but it's up to you what you use. Um, you can adjust the photo order uh, so that it goes by latest to old or by file name. Um, you can add decorations to your photos. I actually quite like this. So here you've got the ability to add the date, the time and the weather and things like that, which will appear in the lower right hand corner as displayed there. Of course, you can customize that and display that how you want. You can add an animation because maybe you have an OLED TV and you're maybe a bit worried about long term burning effects. Obviously, you know, TVs are quite good at preventing that now, but this is just a safer option to make it sort of breathe in and out. Um, and maybe you would like to add some details about the photos themselves. Maybe your files have the actual photo names in them as well, which mine do. So you can enable the file name. You can do all sorts of things like add the location, change the animations off that. Um, and uh, yeah, there's quite a lot of options. Let's have a look at what we've just gone ahead and done now. So we added the date, the time and the file name to the, to the images. So that should appear starting on your next photo, as you can see there. And I just think this is a very cool feature. I mean, obviously, if you type out the file names more correctly as well, so you can further customize that too. And remember, in the last video also, we are actually using a photo mode that will sort of uh, look at your ambient light in the room as well and adjust the brightness so that it looks more aesthetically pleasing in your room. Um, I uh, basically reduced the brightness and added the light sensor function to photo mode, which I think was a very easy way of creating that kind of frame look as well. Um, 
what else can you do? You can add background uh, music if you wish to, for example. Um, so uh, you have some generic music already applied. Must be honest, not my cup of tea, but have a quick little listen. Uh, so, sorry, uh, like so. But thankfully you can add your own music the same way you did to the USB, for example, like with the photos. So very, very simple to do. Now, maybe your television is in a commercial environment. Maybe your only function for this TV is to display photos. So you can do things like set schedules to launch at certain times, turn off at certain intervals, maybe to launch on boot up of your of the TV itself. So the photo app is pretty advanced. You can do a lot of things here. Now, some of the features I showed you are premium. Some of them aren't but uh, it's really good to just have a little experiment with that. In the last video, I showed you how uh, if you leave your TV idle for about five minutes, it will, you can make it launch the, the art gallery. However, the, that was a premium feature. So now that I've gone ahead and unlocked that feature, if you go to screensaver and choose a photo, from now on, that should work um whenever you once you've customized your your gallery so obviously make sure you're on the gallery like so and uh yes from now on if you were to leave your tv idle for about five minutes this is exactly what would happen um it would uh it would play something like this and this time as you can see uh, it's not moaning about it being uh non-premium it just goes straight to the app and it should start looping your photos in a timely manner. I think it displays a little bit longer at the front here, but uh, that should be fine. Yeah. So, as you can see, I think Photo is very customizable, very easy to set up, uh, online and offline. Um, and uh, yeah, I think uh, if you have any questions or anything about this, feel free to leave me a comment and I'll try to answer you as soon as possible. But uh, hopefully this was just all useful to you and uh, enjoy.